So the toilet shower combo is coming together. I've got the most of the enclosure done. This is just stored here. I've got to put some more, <coughs> some more tin there. We're not going to deal with this wheel well right now. We'll do that later. And then we have an on-demand propane hot water heater. The problem is you can kind of see if the cabinet Pepper's making is going to go probably here. And then this thing is to vent, and we're gonna make it so it vents out the window. But we have a toddler, so we probably shouldn't have it down low. So it's probably gonna have to move up. Got this cute piece of furniture, but it was too tall, so we cut off the bottom and we put the top there. And we put the bottom here. So we have a place for shoes and a place to put stuff when we're on the couch. What are you doing, Ryan? We're wiring up the solar. So, Ryan's mom gave us this wall cabinet, which was great. Thank you so much. But the problem is there were no directions. So luckily I've put together a lot of Ikea furniture in my life. So I'm kind of figuring it out. And the pieces are the woods labeled A through something. And the hardware is one, two, three, four, five. So I just started with A. <laughs> and one and I'm going from there and I hope that it works out look at all these special bits <laughs> Raven's totally helping yep totally. it's 11 30 at night and I'm about to put a sealant on our butcher block countertops I'm also gonna gonna glue in between the two with a uh, with a dowel pin so that, so that they don't settle between each other. But you can kind of see what our, what our kitchen setup's kind of going to be like. We've got the, got the versatile faucet. It'll be plumbed in and uh, I kind of got to get the countertops in before I can before I can plumb everything in. So let's get them going. What are you doing Ryan? We needed 200 pounds to put in the back of the bus for traction for winter. <laughs> we have batteries now. Batteries for our solar power. They're very heavy. I tried to lift them and I asked the nice young man in the shop named Kyle to do it for me. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. Does Jordan have it? And here we have a Jacob wrenching his screw. Uh. He's shy, but he's been on camera for a couple hours now. All right, I hung up some curtains today, and it took me a bit of research to figure out maybe what to do because the windows were oh man I've forgotten now 25 and a half by 30 and a half I believe and the curtains that we're finding were 28 by 36 or 30 by 30 and so I decided to go with a 28 by 36 but then I had to hem it a little bit because if you see right here this is where the countertop is going to be, and so it was dragging on that. So I hemmed it up so that it's reaching like that. I hemmed this up like two rolls on this side, and then this side was hitting the couch at a funny angle, so I hemmed it up one. We decided to go ahead and use 3M hook. So right now I'm working on the seat belts. That's one thing I feel like in the videos you don't see very much is how people actually drive because you have to have seat belts to be legal. So we took the seat belts out of the bus that when we took the seats out, 
we saved four. It has to be bolted to the bus or it's not legal. So we're gonna put them, can you see these holes? These holes here with these bolts. And then it goes through, I got a couch where some go, part goes down. You don't have to put the whole thing down. So I'm gonna put the seat, the belts through the middle and through the ends. And it's not gonna be easy to put our seat belts on, but we will be legal and that's all I need for now. It's going. Let's see where I, the line never stopped. I think it looks great. Oh, hi. Let's put this in. not plumbed in yet but it will be so it's not all fun and games we are working on plumbing now I love uh, shark bite connectors they you just push the pipe in and it goes in but I gotta get way back in here to plumb in the tub probably should have done this before I'm under the bed before building the bed so I'll show you. So we've got this is the cold water in the tub. I'm gonna install a T. And all you do is put the pipe in once you've cut it to length, put it in and locks into place. There, I'll scoot up a little bit. And just fortunately this is you can turn them it's really nice so you can get the leverage in the direction you need to go and it's flexible so i like working with copper pipe well solid copper pipe i didn't move the camera so i can get that in there so right there is the led Going up the big hill. $177 for a tank of gas, of oh, diesel. <laughs> 